Okay, so for this here video, I'm going to make for oral med. It's going to be hard for you to see, I apologize, but the PowerPoint that you have is what you really should be going off of. And then the sheets that you have, we're going to be doing oral med practicum one, but I want to kind of give you a heads up of what you're going to be expected to do for checkout. And we're going to be practicing this as well when you get into our practice groups. So we're going to start with that oral med practicum one, and you're in taking care of Thelma Jones today. She's in with cellulitis of the right lower extremity. She also has a history of coronary artery disease, congestive heart failure, and glaucoma. And I'm not going to go all of this over all of this stuff because, like I said, the PowerPoint's going to go into, into all the details about everything. So I'm going to try and make this quick so you can just kind of see what I'm doing, even though, like I said, I showed you the steps in the PowerPoint, the voiceover PowerPoint. So if you haven't watched the voiceover PowerPoint and listened to that, you need to do that first before you come to this videotape. Okay, so today is the 28th of September and it's 845. You're in to care for Mrs. Jones when she calls, when you're in to take care of her and she calls down and asks for something for pain, please give Mrs. Jones the medications that are due. Tylenol was given at one o'clock and it would be helpful if you have your practice EMAR that I made. It's a Word document as well. Okay, so I have this. That's the sheet that I just read as well as the doctor's order sheet. You will need your doctor's order sheet as well. All right, so I'm going to go to the nurse's station in the Pixis room, because that's what we're going to be pretending like we're at. We're going to go to the Pixis room, and we're going to pull up Mrs. Jones. So I pull up her EMAR, all right? And I'm going to make sure I'm on the right EMAR. So I'm looking at that first thing here where it says verified patient. I got Thelma Jones, date of birth is January 1st, 1933, and she's allergic to aspirin. I'm going to compare it to the doctor's order sheet of what I'm taking care of the patient. Patient uh, Thelma Jones, date of birth, January 1st, 1933, and she is allergic to aspirin, correct. All right, so I'm on the right EMAR. So I've got the right patient. Then I'm going to scroll down to the, I'm going to look to make sure everything has been verified. I'm scrolling down and I see that not everything has been verified. Remember what verified means. Go to the PowerPoint if you're not sure. So since the diphenhydramine hydrochloride Benadryl, 25 milligrams by mouth, QID at one, I'm sorry, nine, one, five, and nine has not been verified. I'm going to go directly to the doctor's order. And on here, it's a new order. I see that Benadryl, 25 milligrams by mouth, QID was not verified. It was a written new order. It's not been, nobody checked it. So I'm going to compare it to the EMAR, see if it's correct. Everything's correct. The, the medicine, the dose, the route, the times for the right patient. Um, she's in with cellulitis. She's probably itching, so the right reason. So I'm going to go ahead and see if there's any other reason I can't verify it. It's correct, but... Does she have any allergies? Is there any reason? Did the doctor write anything wrong with it? No, it's correct. So I'm going to go ahead and put my initials. Today, my initials are LKL, okay? So I put type my initials in. Then I'm going to go down to the next one that's not verified. I see on there it says aspirin, EC, grain 5, by mouth, every day at 9. I'm going to go back to the EMAR, or to the doctor's order. Aspirin, EC, grain 5, by mouth, every day. It's written correctly. Then I'm going to ask myself, is there any reason she can't have it? Yes, there is. She is got, she has an allergy. So I'm going to come over to this 9 o'clock box, type in hold. And I will not put my initials over here on the left side because she's got an allergy. So I've scrolled down and everything has been verified. Now I'm going to start pulling out my meds. The first med on here is cefazolin at 12 o'clock, but it's 8.45, so I'm going to skip that. The second one is potassium chloride. KTAB, 10 mil equivalents by mouth. It's in drawer 4. It's every day at 9. I'm going to pull out drawer 4. You don't have to pull it all the way out, but I just want to pull it out. So I'm looking for this tablet. Potassium chloride, 10 mil equivalents. I pull it out. My second check, I compare it. Potassium chloride, K-tab, 10 mil equivalents by mouth. I check the expiration date. It's not expired. So then I'm going to put in a regular cup. A regular cup. There's nothing special about that. I already know what her labs are this morning. Lasix. The doctor wrote an order for the next one on here is Lasix, 20 milligrams by mouth. Hold for systolic blood pressure less than 100. Diastolic less than 90. It's in drawer 4. I only have... 10, milli 10 milligram tabs in here, but I have more than one, so I'm going to pull out two. 
I also have a Lasix IV, but I don't want that one. I want the by mouth. So I pulled both of them up to the thing. Lasix, 10 plus 10 is 20. Hold for systolic blood pressure less than that. So I'm going to compare them to the patient. I know the patient hasn't changed, right? And these are not specific patient meds. These are just, you know, the in a little individual med container. So I don't need to have like a, their particular name on it. Lasix, 10 milligrams plus 10 by mouth at nine o'clock. But I have some special parameters. The doctor wants me to take a blood pressure and a heart, a blood pressure on that patient. So I'm going to put blood pressure on this cup. When I see this written in white, I will remember when I go in the room that I need to do something. The Coumadin at five milligrams at five o'clock, I don't need that. Timoptic solution, 0.25%, give one drop to each eye at nine o'clock. That's been verified. I'm gonna pull up four or five. That is a specific for that patient. So I'm looking for Thelma Jones's Timoptic 0.25%. First check. Second check, bring it over here. Compare it. Timoptic 0.25%. One drop each eye. Thelma Jones. Make sure it's the right in the container. It's right. It's going to be one drop in each eye. One drop in each eye, so I need to go ahead and, I'm taping, sorry. One drop in each eye, so I could put a little thing on the cup if I wanted to, or I can just check that when I go in the room. So I'm going to write one drop on each eye in the cup. One, both. All right. So... The next one down is dipenhydramine hydrochloride. That's 25 milligrams by mouth. That is in drawer eight. So I look in drawer eight and I have a liquid. I don't have a pill, but that's okay. It says Benadryl 10 milli, or 12.5 milligrams per 10 ml. I need how many mls? I need 25 milligrams. So I know that I, I do the math. And if you guys need help with the math, I can show you how to do that. The math tells me that I need 20 mLs. Well, there's 30 mLs in this container. So I'm going to bring, do my second check. And then I check the expiration date. Make sure I check the expiration date on everything if I forgot something. Okay. I'm going to bring a, special, a cup in here so I can pour it. Anything that's not, usually when they have a liquid, it's the same amount that's normal, but sometimes you might have a smaller amount. Let's say that she's a smaller patient. She has a smaller amount. Um, so I will only um, pour 20 mils and I'll show you how to pour 20 when we go in the room. All right, so we're gonna wait to pour open this container until we get in the room after it's scanned. I skipped the aspirin, it's on hold. I, what will I do with that? I'm going to call the doctor. Remember what I talked about? I'll call the doctor and tell them what her allergy is and wait for further instructions. I do not give it no matter what she tells me until I get that clarified and all of that gets processed through the pharmacy. Tylenol, she's asking for something to, for pain. And as I said in the PowerPoint, usually you have more choices than just one. But in this instance, I only have an order for Tylenol every four hours. I look back in my scenario and she says she's had it at one o'clock. So can I, I can give it. So she needs Tylenol, 500 milligrams by mouth every four hours. So I come over and I look for the Tylenol by mouth. I've got a Tylenol PO and I got a Tylenol suppository, but I need the PO. So I pull the Tylenol PO, 500 milligrams. That's my first check. My second check, I bring it up. Patient's still right. The time, it's, it's okay. With the sim within four, it's four hours or more. So I can give it. I could have given it as early as 5 o'clock. Time, med, Tylenol, 500 milligrams by mouth. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and give that, put that in the regular cup. All right, so once I've done that, I can turn off my computer, my Pixis, make sure I log out, and I can take my stuff to the room. All right, so we get a rolling cart, we go into the room. As I walk in the room, I'm going to ask my patient, I'm going to wash my hands as I walk in, and I come over and I make, Turn on my 
EMAR that's in the room, or my computer in the room. All right, so after I do that, I put my cursor in the nine o'clock box and I ask my patient, can you please tell me your name and date of birth? And she tells me her name is Thelma Jones and her date of birth is January 1st, 1933. I compare this and look at her armband and I compare it to the EMAR. Is her date of birth Thelma Jones and her date of birth? Mrs. Jones, do you have any allergies? Oh, yes, I do. I have an allergy to aspirin. I look at her armband and I compare it to the EMAR. Yes, that is correct. Do you have any other allergies? No, honey, that's all. I have that allergy. And then I might ask her what it is. So when I call the doctor, I can let him know. So I'm going to go ahead and scan her armband. I take my scanner and I put it on this little container, this little number here, and I scan it. When I scanned it, that number appeared in this box right here. Again, remember what I told you in the um, PowerPoint? They don't really have numbers. You're looking for to see if it came up the right patient's name, that you didn't have like something blinking at you or making going, eh, making weird noises and stuff, all right? But in our situation, it comes up in this box at the nine o'clock. All right, so now I've done my check of my patient. Now I wanna do any assessments. I see something special in this cup where I see a blood pressure, so I'm gonna go ahead and take her blood pressure. Her blood pressure happens to be 120 over 80. So I might put that in there right now so I don't forget. So her blood pressure, BP, 120 over 80. All right. All right, so I've got all my assessments done. I could also ask her at this point what her pain level is, or I could wait till I get ready to do the, the um, pain medicine. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start scanning my meds. I usually move them over to one side, put them all to one side, pour, take them out of the cup, and then as I move them and scan them, I put them in the other cup as we go. So I'm gonna do that. So I put that, see how I put that one cup over there? All right, so then I pick up my new, my first met, potassium chloride. I put, click over here with my mouse to the nine o'clock box and I pick up my potassium chloride. I do my third check of it and I hit the scanner. All right. I look to see if this number, 18896 matches this number from the very left under the med ID number. It does, again, remember that's not what happens in the hospital, that's how we're simulating it, okay? Then on the potassium chloride, I have two of them. So I do the first check, I'm sorry, I'm on my third check and my third check. And since I have two pills, I scan both of them. What if I picked up potassium, I'm sorry, Lasix, and something else that looks out like Lasix? I wanna make sure I got both the pills right, I picked them up right. So I look at the 18902, 18902, 18902. So they both scanned correctly. I have my Timoptic. I do my third check on this one. And I put my cursor in the nine o'clock box. Come on in. I put my cursor in the nine o'clock box and I scan it. I put that to the side. I come over here from my Benadryl. I did my math. Remember, I know I have 20. I do my third check. And then I scan it. Put it in the 9 o'clock box. And scan it. And then I would pour it. Whenever you have a liquid and it's not the whole thing, you take your cup. And you want to pour it so that it's at eye level. I will put it on the surface and I will pour it so it's at eye level until I get to the 20 mLs. Anything less than that, you would pull up with a syringe. All right, so I have my poured solution. This would just be discarded unless it was a narcotic that you had to waste. The Tylenol. I'm going to go ahead and do my third check. Ma'am, I understand you're having some pain. Can you please tell me what your pain level is on a scale of one to 10? Oh, it's a seven. I scan it. I don't have to write the time because my initials and the time automatically go in there when you're scanning something. When you're scanning something, sorry. When you're scanning something, 
the initials and the time, everything is under your name when you opened up the computer and the time automatically registers. What I, what I do need to do is rate the pain, she said seven out of 10, because I'll need to come back and reassess that. Okay, good. All right, so when, so I would like give her her medicine, sit her up, make sure she's able to swallow it all, give her all of her medicines that we said we were gonna give. Here's her pills, here's her liquid. The eye drops, I talked to you already about how to do that in the PowerPoint, so make sure you know how to do that. Make sure you also know how to do a patch. Make sure you know how to do a suppository, because I would assume you're probably going to do those. Of course, also, and check out before we go into the room, I will make sure that you know, know the medicines, that you know something about the medicines, because you'll have to teach your patient a little bit about the medicines, and you always have to know about your medicines before you give them. All right. Any questions there? Then I would have hit enter. We'll just pretend like I hit an enter button over here. That's the X out button. But we'll hit enter. And then I need to come back and reassess in what particular situation would I, and what would I be reassessing in this particular case? I need to reassess her pain level. So I come back in uh, 45 minutes later and I ask her what her pain level and she tells me that it's two out of 10. So then I can document that as usually pay, people's pain level doesn't go down to zero. So we wait to, to see what that goal of their pain level was. And her goal was three. So she's good. All right. Thank you very much.